spoil that unbeaten streak as well as Montana State's homecoming as the third ranked Bobcats and the Vikings do. It's QB 1A. As they'll get it on the ground on the first run and they'll go to Julius Davis, the Wisconsin transfer as we take a look at him with the rest of the stable of running backs. It's very, very impressive what they've built here at Montana State. Play action going to Derek Snell in the flat and the fullback slash tight end is able to move the sticks. Chambers straight drop over the middle and that one hauled in. And Montana State again with another first down TDs last week for Trayton Pickering as he's the man in motion here. And they go to him again, Pickering with a first down and wrapped up by Eason. Marquis Johnson now in at running back for Montana State. They give it to him. Johnson with some space, getting past the 15 and rumbling into the red zone. Big Sky opponent in 11 games. Play action again, dumps it off. Derek Snell, one man to beat, tried to hop over him, but gets down to about the five. Chambers now with the pistol. Davis getting the rock again. Davis bouncing off of one tackle, reaches over Montana State quickly on the board. Attack by Montana State. Off and running so far. So all alone in the backfield. Looking to throw pressure coming from Brody Green. He goes underneath. And that one incomplete as they say it will hit the ground. Ryland Orr dwells Quincy Craig. On the ground, going to Craig, bouncing to the outside to the 30. And going to be well short of that first down marker. Fakes the throw. Sachere using his legs, doing what he does best, and he'll just trot out of bounds. They were kind of coming up with a run and shoot offense. They scored 153 in two games. Sachere hit as it throws, and that one incomplete, but a flag thrown. It's going to be really interesting. Bad snap. Sachere goes to the air again to the near side. And that one will be hauled in by Darian Chase, the former. Quick throw near side, hauled in. And that will be enough for a Portland State first. That'll bring up second and three for Portland State. They keep giving it to Craig. Craig back inside and short of the first down marker. Sachere keeps it himself, gets to the edge. Sachere with the wheels, going for the pylon, and he runs it in for six. And once again, showing why right here on the play action. Yeah, you know, you can tell, you can kind of see both offensive coordinators still very much on their script. The chess match. And we're seeing that on the field today with Dante. Tremble gets it on the first play for Montana State's drive. And he gets past the 30-yard line. And yeah, going on this day, as we highlighted earlier with those injuries so far in that core. Back to Julius Davis. Davis bouncing off a couple tackles and pulling a couple Portland State defenders past here in this first quarter. Chambers throwing again. And that one hauled in. A nice grab. Right there by 80. Until this afternoon. Chambers up the gut, finds an opening, cuts back inside. Chambers one tackle the beat and slides down past the 15-yard line. And flips it to Derek Snell, and the fullback rumbling inside the five. And even going back to last season, in the pistol, bunched up on the line. Chambers rolling, play action, dumps it off. Derek Snell gets into the blue turf. Montana State punt in to do big people things, but they, they, they sucked him up. That and Sean takes a he takes a pretty good hit here, as you can see, but just powers his way through. He is a big physical kid. Moving the chance by Portland State. Christian Grubb leaves the backfield and they swing it out to him. Grubb looking for blocks. Grubb getting past the 50, still on his feet, cuts back inside. Grubb into Montana State. Got to go to the air here. Sachere throws it straight up, jump ball, and picked off by Ryland Orr. And Orr pushed out of bounds as Sash. Second down and 10. Swings it into the flat, going to Trayton Pickering. Pickering to the outside and a first down into Portland. Win over the Wildcats with those two TDs from Sean Chambers. On the ground, Julius Davis dancing. Davis spinning from a couple tackles and finally wrapped up just short of the 20. Ty McCall, the man in motion for Montana State. Chambers rolling to his right. Fires a ball to McCullough and able to haul it in. You know, Julius Davis mimics Marshawn Lynch with how physical he can be in the running game, but Portland State has an answer. They stop him behind the line of force. Looking to get this one through the uprights on fourth and goal. 
And gets it right through. So Nolan Askelson ejected here in the first half. Vikings threatening in the red zone, down 17 to seven as we continue to wind down this first half. A couple of Viking fans. Keeps it trying to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup with the edge defender. Nice play there by 45 Roman defenses out of Rancho Santa Maria. Nice play by him. To wind down this first half. Quincy Craig back to return. Welcome to the Chevrolet Halftime Report. I'm Alex Eshelman. Scott Breen live from Bozeman here at the home between Montana and Idaho State at 7 at halftime. Same goes for Eastern Washington against Idaho. They are all tied up at 21 all. Scott, you just spoke with Coach Barnum. midfield. Something Coach Barnum said on our call, you know, he was telling his running back room, hey, big backs, run like big people. You're not little jitters. Long this season was 45 last week. Chemistry and the camaraderie those two quarterbacks have in that room. Extra point, good. And Montana State opening up a 31. He's loving his new home here in Bozeman, his second season at Montana State. Going to rush for that lane integrity. Defensive line coach, Coach Houck and Coach Baptiste do such a great job of designing. Sassray keeps it on the zone read. And gets to the 20, third down. Sassray tried to hand it off the wrong direction, keeps it himself. And he will get enough for a first down. Boy, that's a nice one state. Now they give it to Van Buren and powers his way for a couple yards. And don't forget to keep sending in your fan. Yeah, Bruce Barnum. That was really a point of emphasis to him this past offseason. And another first down for the Vikings. Three, kind of put in some calls and thought Portland State would be a good fit. And he's been a big factor in that running back group. But Dante Sachere also doing work with his legs. And pick. Pressure coming. Brody Greedy couldn't bring him down. And Sachere going to work again with his feet. Sachere tripped up past the 40. And that was. Sachere. Giving it to Quincy Craig. He picks up a first down, but a flag thrown back at the 35. And the freshman of the week. Here's Elijah Elliott turning the corner. And Elliott with a burst of speed into Viking territory and shoved out of the Bobcats. Chambers to the end zone. Touchdown, Mon Timbers. He can do it with his feet. And he says, hey, I can do it with my arm as well. Montana State making big plays. Have success like he has here at Montana State. Jared White again past the 40. And yeah, for Sean Chambers. You know, earlier. They play the game with a physical nature. Jared White busting up the gut. One tackle to beat. Past the 15. Right inside. Second and goal. Chambers rolling, dumps it off, Derek Snell into the end zone, and Montana State with the dagger. And then Derek Snell capping it off. Montana State starting to run away with it. Option here. On the ground, Grubb almost slips. He can get to the edge extremely well. Spins away from a tackle and wrapped up by his end. And so far, good production with Portland State. Sachary goes to the air, and he's got his tight end again at the 40. For both sides. Well, you know he's a tough dude. He, he was pretty banged up last season in 2022. Quincy Craig takes it up the middle and gets to midfield. And again, that kind of talks to him more about game management more than X's and O's. Sachere, that one complete. In the Bobcat territory and another first down for Paul Jonathan. Sachere looking to make something happen. And that one caught over the middle. A great grab and taking a lose the run out here in this fourth quarter. Sachere with a strike. And now an up in the air and falls to the turf. 
and a score of the second half. Right. Look out. Pressure coming. Sachere. Kenneth Iden brings him down in the back. Craig in the backfield. Double pass. Throwing it to the end zone. And a fight for it. Hauling it in just short of the goal. You can see 94 there. David also get a little, at least a little pressure on the throw to state. As he gets it and easily gets into the end zone in Portland State. The and Joby Mallory's third touchdown of the season. By Portland State's offense. Got to give him some credit for, you know, for, for continuing to fight. But just looking at that a few minutes ago in the fourth. And the two point conversion on the slant. Darian or Nate Bennett, I should say, hauls it in for Portland State. So 38 20. The, the, the Don Joy Mafia. Jared White breaks through. Amazing his way through and brought down. Jared White dancing his way into the 10. And picking up another Bobcat for State. Cal Poly hasn't gotten off to a solid start. Portland State with a huge win. They played in NAIA school. This was going to be a, their biggest test of the year. And, and he was mentioning it to Alex at halftime. He really likes the way the team is shaping up for next stadium.